I'm Erin. And I'm Kayla. <laughs> this week's craft kit, uh, you're probably really curious about um, what is happening here. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you. This is for uh, a thing that we're calling the Three Little Pigs. So your bag might have some kind of combination of these things, including uh, pipe cleaners that might be big or small. Uh, you might have some kind of a straw. Uh, you might have a random uh, construction paper hand. You could also have a foam shape. Um, I mean, it's really, it's, this is a random grab bag of things. Um, see, I have a little straw and I have some colored popsicle sticks. You might have some big popsicle sticks. Uh, you might have rubber bands. Um, some of you might have uh, toothpicks. You might have two, you might have four, you might not have any. Um, you may have um, gumdrops. You also might have marshmallows in your kit. Uh, so it's really, um, it's really a random assortment of things, but it's gonna make sense <laughs> when I show you why we gave you all of this random stuff. So. Um, <laughs> and if you have any of random stuff like this at home that you want to include, you can also use that. Yeah, so like, um, we did not give you guys any of the Model Magic, but if you have Model Magic, you can use that. Um, Play-Doh, if you have like Legos or Lincoln Logs or Tinker Toys or anything like that. Because what you're going to do is, uh, hopefully you all know the story of the Three Little Pigs. Um, you know, huff, puff, blow your house down. Um, we have some awesome books. This one is the true story of the three little pigs as told by a wolf. Uh, it's really a delightful story. If you want to know, uh, the wolf's take on the three little pigs. We have, um, go ahead. So we have multiple versions of the three little pigs. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to read any of our amazing editions, they're all currently in. Yes, this one is one of my favorites. Yes, it's an same. architectural tale. So they build houses in the style of famous architects um, to protect themselves from the big bad wolf. Um, we did a program very similar to this one a couple of years ago um, where we read that book and then we did this project. So uh, we also have some other books um, with really cool buildings. So there's all kinds of cool structures in the world. Um, if you're interested in architecture, we've got some good books. And this is actually an adult book, but it's um, Lego renditions of famous buildings. So we have like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. that you can build with the architecture Legos. Um, if you're really creative, you can do it with your own type of Legos. So, just a little bit about that. So the goal of this program is to use the supplies that we gave you and uh, anything else that you can find from home to build something that will withstand the force of the big bad wolf blowing it down. Now, uh, if you have a hair dryer at your house, um, you would use your hair dryer to see if you could blow your building down. Or if you don't have a hair dryer, if you have a fan that you can use to put up in front of your structure to see if um, it withstands the wolf's hot air. So, uh, I have repurposed some of our little fairy houses that we made while ago. And really this is just about using your creativity with objects that um, you were given in order to make a house that might withstand a big blast of air. So, I mean, you could just use your cup as your house. Um, that seems like cheating <laughs> <laughs> because you want to, you know, you want to have an interesting house. So maybe if you have two cups, um, you could, you know, do something like this. Your foam shapes, so, I mean, what in the world are you going to do with, like, a random hand? 
or I think there were some bunnies that we gave oh, out. Cool. Um, all, all kinds of stuff. This is just to like, um, if you wanted to, you know, use this as like a bridge. You could cut, cut the fingers off. This is just an idea now. <laughs> and you could, um, you know, attach it maybe with a rubber band somehow. Or oh, glue no. or tape if you have glue or tape. Oh, we have a stapler. <laughs> we have a stapler. I don't, I don't think I want to use a stapler. Um, oh, but, you know, something if you're going to build your house and you wanted to have like a, like this is my bridge in between my two two houses and maybe that will add some weight to to my house to see if, uh, you know, that will withstand the hair to hair. Whoa. Um, if you have... Um, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I mean, you could use, you could use popsicle sticks to help make your structure. Um, you know, you could use, I think this is what I was thinking. If you had, um, some Play-Doh, you could definitely, um, you know, use your Play-Doh and you or, could build some sort of structure. Or they could use their marshmallows. Yep, or your marshmallows or your um, gumdrops. That's what those are for is to help, you know, fortify a building that you're making. I mean, you guys are very creative, um, and I know that you'll think of some really fun stuff. Like, what if we had this as like a gate, and our house was here, and we used, you know, it's almost like you want to make a fort <laughs> with the materials that you have. And maybe you decide to use your piece of construction paper or foam and you cut it out and you want to make like um, like a flag. Ooh, so we could cool. pretend um, this is our flag on top of our house. Um, like, haha, big bad wolf, you can't blow us down. <laughs> um, yeah, tape would probably be good. Uh, glue. Well, glue, but that's kind of cheating. Oh, is glue cheating? Because but tape isn't? Well, tape is kind of cheating. But I feel like it's less cheating than blue. <laughs> I don't know why. So you could have like your little flag here. If you have a little figurine of a pig or uh, something, you could, um, you know, you could stick him or her. I would say him, sorry. Uh, you could stick it in your house and see if what you build collapses all around you. And then when you think you're ready, you do your experiment with the box or the um, hair dryer. If you don't have any, when I say box, I meant box fan. Um, if you don't have, oh, yeah, sorry. That makes sense. Yeah. If you don't have any of those things, guess what? What did the big bad wolf use to blow the three little pigs' houses down? His mouth. His mouth and his own breath. So you could take a straw and you could huff. And pop and blow your house down. So, there you go. That's Miss Kayla building. Oh, triangles. Triangles. Those triangles are, are apparently supposed to be it's very sturdy. Structurally sound. Yes. Um, so, that is the project for this week. Um, so, if you're confused about why you got a bag full of the most random things, <laughs> remember, it's to build a structure with your imagination, it does not have to look like anyone else's, although uh, you can use books for inspiration, you can use the internet for inspiration, but try to build something with the materials you've been given and then see how well you did. If you're on the side of the three little pigs, see if you made something that's strong enough to withstand the air. If you're on the side of the wolf, you wanna see if, um, you can use enough force to 
blast your house down. Uh, so that's all that we have for this week. Uh, it's super fun. Um, and I hope you have good luck with uh, your structures. Yes, and feel free to um, send us images of your structure and let us know if you had success. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.